Amazon chocolate. Um, and as you can see, there are some ripening tomatoes. Um, this is kind of the way they look. It's a potato leaf variety. It's a, I wouldn't say quite beefsteak, but pretty close. It's a big tomato. Um, this is what they look like when they turn green. Um, or when they're pretty much matured and um, green. And it has taken probably, on this variety, it takes about 16 to 18 days for a mature green uh, to start ripening. So that's about the duration of that period that you're sitting there looking at your tomato, waiting for, you know, they're not getting any bigger, but you're waiting for them to ripen, all anxious, checking them every day. This is about a 16, 16 to 18 day in that regard. Um, I noticed that a lot of them exhibit almost an ox heart shape, which is sort of that pointed... Uh, you know, narrowing at the bottom type shape, but not all of them. Some of them are more your typical beefsteak shape. I am totally impressed with this this variety. It is it has gone beyond all my expectations. Um, it has handled our heat, our humidity, our, our droughts, uh, the cold weather early on, the rains, and then no rain and. And, and, and then lots of rain for three days, and, and it hardly even shows signs of splitting. It's uh, just been a trooper of a, of a plant. It's a potato leaf variety. It's a full-size indeterminate. Um, it is one of the earliest, even though it's a long-season tomato, it is one of the earliest to ripen in my all of all my varieties. Um, I have had some others ripen earlier a little bit. Um, by a, by a week or so, uh, but those were some really scrawny, just your first, just not too hot tomatoes. I had to just throw them away. Uh, I did pick a brandy wine already. Uh, again, it was had been attacked so much by insects, it had stink bug marks in it and all that. I had to throw it away. But this is this tomato here is has shown really good resistance, good bug resistance. Uh, loves uh, has no problem with our extreme heat and humidity. Um, and the biggest thing about this tomato, which is the most important to me, is the flavor. The flavor blew me away on this tomato. I did not expect, and I'm not just saying that because these are my first good ripe tomatoes of the season. I'm honest to God saying that this is a fantastic tomato in, in all aspects. And it will be one that will be in my garden every year from now on. That's a fact. And I've grown a lot of varieties over the years. Um, so let's get on to looking at the more ripe ones, what to, what to expect, um, when, when it's at its peak, what it looks like, and then just an overall flavor uh, impression. Okay, this is what one looks like when it's at a good picking stage, I would call it. Um, it has a green shoulder um, and a, you know, it's, it's got color all around um, and just... That's a good picking point right there, to be honest. Just, okay, and then here's one that's a little further along. It's much darker. It's filling out in color. Um, and these tomatoes, just like a lot of varieties of your chocolates, your darks, your, your Amazon, cho or your uh, Cherokee purples, your, um, they, don't, they don't ripen, or you don't want to let them ripen to a solid color. You know, if you wait until all this green is gone, the tomato will be way beyond ripe. It will be bitter, it will be awful, and you'll say, well, those are awful tomatoes. And what a lot of people don't understand is not all tomatoes uh, are a solid color when they're ripe. So that's, that's really important to know because there's just a, a small window of when these tomatoes are at their peak. This one has got probably a day to go, to be at its peak. Um, and it will have the green shoulders and the rest will be that chocolatey reddish color. Okay, now here's one that's ripe. It's, um, it's like I said, it still has the green shoulders, but it has a, you know, a deep, a deep color to it. The best way to tell with these is just very, very gently, just, just with the gentlest touch, kind of push on it 
if you feel it give just in the slightest way, uh, it can be, it's, it's, it's ready. And, and you'll only have a day or so, maybe a couple days from that point to eat this thing before it starts going south in flavor. Um, I've already picked four of these that were just blemish, you know, like this, just blemish free, nice big tomatoes. And I've already picked four and consumed them, or more like inhaled them. <laughs> And um, so I'm, I, I, it's not a fluke. I just picked one that was good and the rest kind of weren't so good and this or that. No, these tomatoes have ex a lot of flavor. Um, now I'm going to cut into one and describe it. Okay, let me add one more little detail before I tear into one of these. Um, as you notice, I have them kind of just laid out on the countertop here at various stages of ripening. Um, one thing to be very aware of uh, with these heirlooms, these types of tomatoes, never stack them, okay? If you, even when you're going out and you're picking them, you've got, you know, half a dozen or more, or a couple, a dozen or whatever. Don't even stack them on top of each other. The weight of the tomatoes on the lower tomatoes, it will make a soft spot in that tomato and it will immediately starting start to degrade and possibly before the tomatoes ripe. And so you never want to stack these tomatoes. That's the big difference between your store-bought and your heirlooms. These are, these are fragile. They have a very limited span of when they're ripe. Uh, any little pushing or thumb or squeezing or, or, or weight from other tomatoes will immediately start them, uh, will start degrading um, the tomatoes. Uh, you'll have soft spots, they'll start to ripen and, and, and become bitter, possibly before you, the tomatoes actually ripe. So, one, that's just one more important little thing I wanted to mention. Okay, I'm going to take this one. It's pretty ripe. It's not the best one, it's kind of got some blemishes. And it's actually even got a few little stink bug marks in it and whatnot, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to cut it open. And as you'll see, it has a little green to it. It has a little red. It looks almost kind of like a steak. Uh, it's not a real high juice tomato. It has a lot of meat. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean it's not ripe. This tomato is primed and ripe. Uh, it will have green locules in it. Uh, that's just the nature of this tomato. And it will not be bitter and green tasting uh, by any means. Um, you know, don't be fooled because it has some green in it that it's not ripe and ready. This tomato is, is perfectly ripe and ready. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a, take a little cut. And as you can see, it's almost like a, you know, it doesn't have a lot of, lot of seed pockets. All right. Take a bite of it. Okay. Hmm. It instantly, you're hit with flavor. And it's pretty deep. Um, hey, that's what surprised me, how deep the flavor is with these. It has a sweetness to it. It has, uh, but it has that acidic quality that's so important. It's just a, a good combination. I would say it's a little more towards the acidic as compared to, say, like a cherry tomato, which is just almost like candy. Um, wow, and it's very intense. It has a little bit of, um, I don't know, I would say an earthy flavor. Oh, um, I would say the best aspect of this tomato is how much it just bursts in your mouth. It curls your toes. It is so rich. It's not bland in any way. Um, wow, just a really good tomato. Really good. Just overall, it has that old world rich tomato taste to it. I don't taste any greenness or, or anything like that. Um, you know, maybe some of this might be that little core area there. Let me taste a little more of the greenish part. Okay, see? 
you know, it has a just a really green locule area where the seeds are. And it's still sweet. Not bitter in any way. Mm. Folks, this is a great tomato. It really is. And I'm comparing this to what I'm used to as far as like brandy wines. Tiny bit more acidic. Um, but just bursting with flavor. I tell you what, a little salt on this. And I got to go sit down. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really good tomato. Really good tomato. And this is one of the more scraggly uh, plant, you know, tomatoes that I've picked. I've had some already that were the nice larger ones, and they're just a little better. You know, a little more red, you know, throughout. Um, this one is just about ready. Okay, Amazon chocolate. Great, great tomato. Really is. Really good. Very strong flavor. It really surprised me. Uh, and not bitter in any way. Very, has a lot of good sweetness to it. It's just that what you expect in a tomato. A good homegrown organic tomato. Everything you would expect, it's got it. And uh, so that's Amazon chocolate.